Hi, everyone. Here in Baltimore early this morning, all of us learned about the passing of our friend, broadcasting colleague, and Royals Hall of Famer Paul Splitorf at his home in Blue Springs, Missouri. First of all, we want to send out our condolences to Paul's wife, Lynn, his son, Jamie, his daughter, Jen, and his mother, Betty. And it is certainly a difficult day, a sad day for the Splitorfs. It's a sad day for the Royals, and it's a sad day for Kansas City. And it's difficult to know exactly what to do on a day like today. So we will do our best to honor Paul Splitorf, and we will do it with the best thing we know, and that is through television. Paul was remarkable in many ways, and so is his story. You will hear friends describe him as steadfast, loyal, tough, and competitive. Those attributes made possible tremendous success in not one, but two careers and a beautiful family. He was always moving forward. In just five years, he went from an undrafted high school senior and small college athlete to the Major League Mound in Kansas City's Municipal Stadium in 1970. In the next five years, Split led a young and emerging team. Paul was one of the league's best, winning 20 games in 1973 and challenging for a division title. The big lefty was the steady force during the best Royal seasons. Paul would start the biggest games and win most of them. The country knew him as the Yankee killer. He never lost a playoff game. Split pitched five years in the 80s and was a winner then too. He finally made it to a World Series and spent the last four years of his career as a mentor to the new generation of Royals pitchers. The best pitching career in Royals history ended quietly in 1984. The Royals recognized Paul's career with his Hall of Fame induction in 1987. But Paul was not finished with the game he loved. At age 39, Split became a rookie broadcaster, and he did it the old-fashioned way. He earned it. He announced high school and college sports for local radio and cable outlets. He paid his dues using his experience on the court and diamond to refine his craft. He loved the tough guy, the hard worker, the thoughtful athlete, and that respect came through in his broadcast. He provided analysis at the elite level of Major League Baseball and college athletics, and we are all better for it. Now, some 25 years later, the legacy is undeniable. We talk of numbers making the man, but for the big lefty, it was vice versa. One man, one team.